933. Today's not so good. Yesterday wasn't so good. For totally different reasons. Yesterday, my ribs were, I had some sort of problem with my chest, which was fun, which screwed the entire day and night up. And today, I just wanted to get a new phone earlier. And that turned into a seven hour debacle that still hasn't been fixed yet. So I found a cracking point, 600 milligrams of trilepta flowing through me and I'm still pissed off. Standard dosing is 300 milligrams. So that's not good. That makes me very unhappy because I'm cracking around the edges a little bit. I don't like feeling that way. I've spoken about this once or twice before. I won't go back. I won't. Stop walking so fast. Remember, it, it can't touch you. together here. I have work to do later and it won't do to be in this state of mind. Oh boys. This stuff definitely interferes with my ability to throw. This extra dosing, I can tell you, it's messing me up here. I can't, I can't get the, the motor controls fucked up. It's not bad, it's just a little off. I don't get it. I need to start kicking in like an hour ago, though, I can tell you that for sure. Because this, this is unacceptable. I'm feeling frustrated. I don't want to feel that way anymore. I'm supposed to be cool as a cucumber at all times because nothing can touch me. And yet today, the rage has found me. I do not like this. I can't throw right either. And that's not really frustrating me. I just don't like it. <clears throat> It is what it is as far as being bad at it. I know that's gonna happen because I suck. I, I can't do it right, I, I can't. It's something is, that medicine's got my wires crossed here and I know that's a sad excuse. It's what I got. Something is just not, something's not transferring right. The signals are getting jammed a little bit. I do feel better though. I don't feel as frustrated as I was just a second ago. I know that sounds completely psychotic. However, that, that medicine does some weird shit. I think we figured, I think we got over the hump there, boys. Yeah, I had this killer freaking pain in my left side. I thought my heart was going to blow up. <sighs> Started bothering me. It felt like last, like two nights ago, out of nowhere. Kept me up all night and shit. Went to the hospital yesterday in the morning. <laughs> Fucking sat around there like an idiot for a while. 
only good thing I got out of all that is that uh, my bloods are perfectly clear, which is good, very good to know, and uh, my heart is good, so great. It only took a long time and a few bucks. So, you know, there's that. Silver linings, I suppose. But yeah, I really thought my heart was going to pop at one point. It was pretty bad. Like, the pain was, like, right here, like, right around where my heart is, of course. It was just some sort of, like, I, I must have pulled, like, my serratus or something. I pulled some kind of muscle or strained it or something inside there, but, man, it hurt so fucking bad. Wow. I couldn't, like, I, I could lay down, but I couldn't flex it all to get out of the leg position without wishing for the, reason, the sweet release of death. That's one of the most intense pains I've ever felt in my life. No shit. It was it was exquisitely bad. Like I didn't think anything of it, you know, when I first went to sleep. I, mean, I got home freaking late. Like I sleep for like an hour or something. I wake up and I try to get out of bed when I did. Oh man. Like some like turning over to get out hurt real bad, but it wasn't so bad. But standing up, oh Christ, I mean, holy balls. And I still can't figure out how that happens. Like, there must be something inside there that makes you stand, like, when you just stand upright. Oh, boy. I mean, I, I've never felt such a pain before in my life. It hurt just unimaginably bad. And it's right here, so I'm certain that my heart is popping, you know? I mean, my heart's beating real fast, too, because if you just, if you get an excruciating pain, your heart's beating fast. Because your brain can't figure out why this just happened to you. So, so I'm sitting here holding my freaking side going, oh, crap, am I having a heart attack? That's cool. I mean, my arm doesn't hurt. Like, my arm's not numb, so I, I figure it's probably not a heart attack. <laughs> but I went in the mother room and got, got an aspirin and ate it real quick. So I thought, hell, if nothing else, you know, this will save me from dying, perhaps. But it was weird because I'm dosed up on medicine. So I, I'm like, well, shit, I think I'm having a heart attack. But I don't really care. Yeah. I'm like, wow, this is very concerning. I guess. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sitting there thinking, wow, bro, I think I'm going to die. Well, I should really be more concerned about this, shouldn't I? Ha, huh. I'm not. So I eventually ended up falling into another who got like, laying on a couch where I could, I could stay upright mostly and sleep a little bit, which sucked. I slept like 15 minutes the whole night. It was pretty ass and balls. So then I had to go to the freaking hospital, of course, and sat around there for quite a while and Everything was okay when I first went in, but then I had to lay down for the EKG because they couldn't stick the freaking electrodes to my body. <laughs> whatever. Double whatever. So they can't stick the electrodes to me. So I gotta go into another room and lay down on my bed. And laying down isn't a problem. I try to get up and I nearly die in front of all of them. And then it just like, it would just hurt forever after that. Like it, oh. Then they put some, they took my blood, they put an IV in my arm thing, you know, one of those port things. And then they come in a little bit later and put like four different things in there. And oh boy, I wouldn't feel no pain then for a minute. Hit me with some muscle relaxer and shit, but it, the pills don't do shit. <laughs> the pills are useless. That stuff they shot in there, that worked pretty good. But then uh, I've got some other crappy for an anti uh, anti-inflammatory. Which I don't take because it makes me pretty tired, sort of. Barely, it makes me tired. I doubt I'll be sleeping tonight either. Just as fine with me, I don't care. I've found other things to do to occupy myself within the hour of the owl. And I can tell you, I've been doing a lot of it too. It's been a lot of fun. To give you an 
idea of how psychotic I occasionally sound or feel. I'm not even sure why I, I slammed the the axe in the target a minute ago. I, I don't. I can't feel that again now. Like it's just that's just gone. That that I don't feel that surge of anger anymore. It's just I can't I can't do that now. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I I, I don't know. I mean, none of you guys care anyway. I'm not sure why I'm explaining this. It's a fucking waste of time. But, you know, that's kind of how it goes. That's how I feel. Bird man, Red Honor. I like this song. Bird man. have a new phone and we'll be in high def that's gonna be bad and I got boards I just don't want to put them up or didn't want to but right now I just don't care to earlier I was too pissed off to want to do it now I just am indifferent to the whole thing I gotta get these throws done so I can get on with the rest of my day which has been utterly destroyed in its scheduling you know it's fun having a schedule until somebody messes it up And you know, I've told you about that thing about me and technology. Things just going wrong. Well, today was a good example of it. So, I go in to get this new phone over to the place I got this phone at. Alright. But I gotta have data transferred over. All of it. Because there's a lot of important shit on this phone that I need on a new one. I can't lose it. Alright. Cool. Samsung share. No problem. This is an easy process. This will take... 10 minutes. Can you guess how long 10 minutes took? I'll give you a, I'll give you a second to guess. If you're listening, put it in the comment section. Or watching, rather. <laughs> the answer is about five hours. And it didn't even work. So it didn't work. So I finally get home. Oh, and it botched my internet too. It botched, the, it botched everything on my phone. I can't talk on it, I can't text on it, I can't, I can't internet, and like it pulled me off the, the, the network. Okay, so I gotta go back in and get that fixed. 20 minutes later, still not fixed. So I was told if you can get it to text and, and call, it's fine. So I leave there finally, forever later. back home, want to eat some food, because I'm like two hours behind eating, which means I haven't eaten in like seven hours, which is too long for someone like me. <laughs> and yeah, the medicine can keep the crazy at bay to a degree. Again, today we found that breaking point. So anyway, I finally get home, and then uh, my dad says, hey, let's go over to the store over there, you know, right close to the house. And get a phone over there. Just get a new one. You know, brand new one. Just, we'll put it on our account. You know, whatever. No big deal. I'll pay for it. We'll do the monthly payment thing. No problem. Not exactly what I wanted to do. That's cool though. So I can pay for one. Whatever. Who cares? It just hammers you more money. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, so I go and respect to the store. Wait in there for like thirty minutes because there are two people in there who are incompetent. And I don't mean the people working, I mean the people talking to them. So that sucked, and that made me very upset. So I ended up leaving, going out to my car for a minute, and then going back in. Bought, lost a date over this whole thing, by the way, which very much frustrated me also. So I, I lose a date over this. I finally, I say, fuck it, let's go back in there. Then. If it's ruined my night so far, I might as well just go all the way with the ruining here. 
All right, so it's seven, like seven thirty ish almost. And uh, finally, they can see me up there. Then you get their phone. Got to transfer data on this one over that one because I got to. Oh, we don't do data transfers after seven o'clock. Cascade failure. See, it's a lesson in two things. Why I'm a procrastinator and why I catastrophize things sometimes. You see, my experience over time has generally been one thing goes wrong and then it cascades into hell. This is very common. So, what does one do when one has experience with something? They draw upon that experience and make themselves a conclusion of what will probably happen in the future based on their past experiences. AKA, I catastrophize sometimes because it's always a catastrophe. Ha! Those are crazy guys, by the way. Uh, again, I'm playing that up. Um, Damn son of a bitch. Keep it behind there, you dumbass. Oh, the other thing, too, that I gotta jump past number one on that one. Procrastination. It really ties into what I would just said either way. If I know that things are gonna go horribly, horribly, horribly wrong, why do I wanna do them? You know? I mean, ask yourself that simple question. You know this is going to go poorly. Do you want to do it? No. Of course you don't. You know? And of course, everybody around you, oh, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, sure, it'll be fine for them. It's not fine for you. No, no. Not fine for me either, generally. And I don't know about you, but numero uno is the only one that matters. Call it what you like. It's a simple fact, boys. Woo! Oh, man. Man. Nothing got hurt. That was no big deal. Medicine's getting me pulled back into raining me back in, too. You can't imagine how much I like that. Mm -hmm. I like being on an even keel. A lot more than being how I normally am. Well, used to be. Used to be. Used to be. Things are different now. New and improved to us. Shit. All right. Excuse me. Not enough of this today. No, that was a Bluetooth speaker somewhere around here, but I don't know what I did with it. I need to find that thing too. I need it for something. I don't know where it went. Anyway, this was this was whatever. See you tomorrow.